Hi there and welcome to your jump rope full body workout. Let's get going. Okay guys, let's start warming up and I'm gonna explain our workout today as we go. Just follow along. So today we have a nice simple format. We're gonna do five minutes each of every section of our body. Pretty clean, pretty simple. Pull your hands to the right. So we're gonna do five minutes jump roping, five minutes arms, other way, five minute legs, five minute abs, and we're gonna do that all twice. It's super easy format and nice and clean and we'll be in and out before you even know it. All right, let's just stretch your neck here. Today you're gonna need your jump rope, you're gonna need a band, and you're gonna need your light dumbbells too, and then one heavy dumbbell or a kettlebell. Let's start moving our feet and our legs here. We're getting nice and warm. Today is, if you're following along, the final workout of the week. I will post again on Monday at 6 a.m. And let's cross over. Today we are still sticking with Tabata, as I said, all week long. Next week we're gonna mix up the intervals and do some new stuff. So let's start just moving our feet. Don't even lift them, just start moving them. We're gonna start here in about 15 seconds with our jump rope sequence. All right, so let's grab those jump ropes. Shake out your arms, shake out your legs. And let's start with boxers and let's go. So if you're following along on the clock, we are gonna be going to about seven minutes or so with our jump ropes. And take your 10. If you've enjoyed this week, if you've enjoyed Tabata, let me know and we will do more. And if you're like, no, can you go back? I don't feel it as much, let's go. Then sure, we'll change it up. I love critiques, I love suggestions. If you're like, hey, I really wanna work on this one thing, it's not jump rope, can you still teach it? I'd love to. Like I said, next week I'd love to hit some yoga and Pilates in our ab workouts and do your 10. So I'm definitely all ears. While you have breaks, shake it out, especially in the beginning. Don't forget to hydrate, let's go. We're just warming up here, so we're just gonna kinda move on up the scale of intensity. Next, we're gonna do our hops, our skips. I'll show that in a second. And break, we're gonna do these guys, otherwise known as my favorites. <sighs> and let's go. If you're doing this on Friday, this is the last day of your work week, hopefully. And take a break. Hopefully this can start your weekend out strong. Hi, Oreo. Okay. Let's go in two, one. We're doing three of each, just keeps it easy. I'm hoping this workout will fly by for you. That is always the goal, to enjoy the workout and not be watching the clock like crazy. And take a break. The next exercise after we do this one more time is just our normal jump ups. And let's go. I have a busy day ahead of me. I seem to always have a busy day ahead of me. So I'm using this workout to kind of get my day going to warm me up, take a break. Oh, I'm sorry, keep going. I can't go off with you soon. You're like, hello, that was literally 10 second jump rope. Now take your break. We're new hop snacks. But anyways, I'm using this to kind of get me going. I haven't had the energy this morning, so I'm really hoping this will give me energy. Let's go. So I can get everything done that is on my list. Remember, do your best to hold your core. 
keep your legs and your wrists loose. Let's go. I think this workout will definitely fly by by you for you because everything is only five minutes. So we're almost to the five minute mark of jump ropes. And then we're gonna move on to arms. Then we're gonna move on to abs. Take a break. And then we're gonna move on to legs. And then one more round and that's it. It looks so easy. Very excited about today. I love an easy format. Let's go. You're on your final minute of jump ropes for now. And take a break. Okay, for the last 20 seconds of our jump rope section, your choice, choose whatever style you want. I'm actually gonna do some jacks. But up to you, let's go. Okay, take your 10. I actually lied to you. I wanna do legs first and then we'll do arms and abs. So take, let's take 10 seconds Grab your big one dumbbell and we'll start our legs. Okay, in about 10 seconds, we're just gonna start some good old fashioned squats. Holding my dumbbell up, we're gonna begin in four, three, two, one, let's go. If you're sore like me, take it easy. Maybe you need to go down, no big deal. So we're going to about 12 on the clock. And take your 10. 12.30 to be exact. We want to get in those full minutes. Let's go. So I hope you've been with me for the beginning. If you haven't, welcome. I love to have you here. I hope you've noticed we have already improved so much just working through the couple weeks that we have. Our audio, take a break, is already better. I hope you've enjoyed that. We figured out some nut, nut, nooks and crannies. Let's go. If you are new, thank you for joining. Please know I am just me. I'm not putting on a show. If I forget how to speak, which happens a lot on this channel, it's just because it's who I am. And I'm not going to hide that from you. And also, you will often see Oreo, who's upside down currently, you just can't see. Put down your weight. And grab your band. Should have said that. All right. We're on a little off the clock, but that's okay. We're going to go like this and in, out and in. Are you ready? Let's restart in about 10 seconds so we can get back on that clock. We're gonna stick with the band for the rest of the circuit, make life easy. Don't worry, we're bringing weight back at the end of the workout. Let's go, out and in, out and in. So we're actually gonna go to about 13 minutes now because we got about 30 seconds off there, putting on our band. No big deal. Just adjusting. Take your break. Do this three times. So we're on our second time. Or is being really cute and none of you guys can see her. She's off the camera. Let's go. She's upside down. Going like this, trying to get my attention. I see you. 10 more seconds. Please, if you have dogs, Record yourself, take a picture, put it in the comments. I want to see you. Let's have a dog workout nation. Take your break. Maybe I should call the channel that dog workout nation. Last time, my heart is going. How about you? 
trying to check out my BPM here. Oh yeah, she's up there. It's funny, even my non-cardio days, your heart really gets into the fat burning stage, which is fantastic. Because cardio isn't all what it's hyped up to be. Take your 10, your leggies on, and we're gonna do, you know what we're about to do. Our lateral legs, I love these guys. We're just gonna do alternate to make it easy. Let's go. Go at your own speed. I'm wearing a heavy band, so I might be a little slower than you. If you're wearing extra heavy or light, you might be slower than me, you might be faster. No big deal. Whew. And take your 10, I'm gonna grab a sip of water. And let's go. Today we won't have as many water breaks as some of my other workouts do, because I'm really trying to get through everything in a nice, short fashion, so please take your water breaks. Excuse me, this is Oreo. If you're new to the channel, I know we have some new people. Whoa, take a break. Hi. She's not gonna like me today. I have a lot of filming to do today. Last time. And we we're on our last minute of legs, guys. So fast. After this, just so you know what's going on, you're gonna go to the floor, all right? And you're gonna get your lighter two weights because we're doing some arms and some abs. It's gonna be great. And take your break. For our last 20 second interval, you can keep your band on if you want, no big deal. Find yourself a wall. We're gonna do a 20 second, 20 second wall sit. Let's go. So, with wall sits, you wanna make sure you have a nice 90 degree angle you're kind of creating this with your body. So actually it's more like this. This is your bottom leg and this is your quad your thigh. And just like that, we're done. All right guys, take off your bands and knee on the ground. All right guys, so hopefully Aura won't get in too much in the way. She really loves abs, as you guys probably know. Um, we're gonna actually combine our abs and our arms. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do arm into ab, into arm into ab, into arm into ab. That way we're never really killing ourselves too much. I am gonna leap to bottom land just for a second, but that's just because it's easier when you're down here on the ground. So we are going to do 10 minutes on the ground. So it's five minutes on, five minutes abs, all right? So grab your dumbbells. We're gonna start with our chest presses in two, one, let's go. Alternating or doing them together, really up to you. Follow along, because we're gonna do 30. And if I'm being honest, I've kind of lost count, so I'm just gonna guesstimate. <laughs> I'm saying we're about 12. Oh, there she goes. She loves my sweat. 22, 22. And we're doing 
mama belly. Let's go. And hold. And Pilates. And cross. Okay, this is gonna be feeling a lot easier because we're taking our break with our arms. So grab the weights again, triceps. Are you ready? In three, two, one. We're gonna do 30, let's go. Three, three. I just had to fix my hair there.
that kind of felt like I did more than 30, but if I did, great. That doesn't really hurt us, it helps us. And if I did 30, it's fantastic. I just put them on count. All right, our last ab is the big one with the big legs. You can do it. Are you ready? Let's begin in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Eight. And cross. We're going to split out again. You might want to go at your own pace for these. That's totally fine. Remember, arms are out and legs are out and up. Alright, we're gonna do across our mats, so we're gonna go up, down, 
like this. Super simple. Let's go. Two hops on each side. It's less about the knee height and more about the hops. Take a break. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's go. Hey, no, no. Take your 10. All right, ready? Let's go again. In four, three, two, one, let's go. I just had to adjust the screen a little bit. You weren't seeing my feet. Sorry. Okay, take your 10. We're gonna do that one more time. Almost done with our jump ropes for the rest of the day, for the rest of the week. Let's go. Take 
three. We're so close to the end of this workout, guys. And let's go. Ten more seconds. And break. One more curtsy lunge. Let's go. Okay, for this next one, you can keep one weight if you want. If you don't want any weight, you don't have to. You want to do little pulses. Let's go. Just like this. You're in like a baby squat. Like that. We're not all the way down. And break. And let's go. Down in weight. 
My arms are feeling the pump. I'm sure yours are too. Oh my goodness. Like I said in another arm video, take your 10. I always look at my arms when I do hammer curls because I want to make sure I keep my elbow attached to my waist. So, up to you. Let's go. I'm starting with the arm I didn't do last time. Did it end with, I mean. Put your weight down for one weight. Keep one. We're gonna do front raises. You're gonna hold both sides of your weight. I suggest your lower weight you have. Let's go. Just like this. So you're pressing in with your palms. So you're activate, actually activating your inner arm here as well. So it's like you can lift your fingers off. That's how much you're pushing in. So we're working more than you think. And take your 10. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling way better than how I started this workout, which is why I work out. It really has to do with the way I feel afterwards. Let's go. And I honestly believe that is how everyone should work out. They shouldn't be working out to see them lose 100 pounds. They should be working out to feel better. Of course, if weight loss is a goal of yours, make sure you're doing it in a healthy way. Still eating, not doing cardio all the time, take a break. But it is important to go into the gym, go into a workout, go on to YouTube, and ready, set, go. Knowing that you're doing this to come out with a better mindset for your day, a better start, free endorphins, all right? If you go into that mindset, the chances of everything else improving are pretty high. Less stakes are on yourself, okay? And you're done, oh my goodness, okay. Grab both weights. We're gonna do abs and we're gonna start with these since we're already standing. Let's go. I will say, compared to what we just did, this feels pretty easy. If you wanna up the weight, go for it. I'm just gonna embrace it, go slow, not using momentum. Take your 10. Ready? Let's go. I hope you do realize this is the last five minutes of your whole workout. You're welcome. Leave a comment below on what was your favorite interval this week. Let me know if you liked it two weeks ago, if you liked what we did today. Take your break. Let me know. I'd love to hear it. And let's go. Ten more seconds. All right, guys, put those weights down and meet me on the ground. All right. In about 10 seconds, we're gonna start a nice little plank series. So if you're starting your arms, 20 seconds there, 10 seconds off, and we'll lead you through it. Are you ready? Two, one, let's go. 20 seconds is nothing for a plank, you guys can totally do it. And take your 10. We're gonna do that same thing two more times. Two, one, let's go.
and break. This next one, forearms, you can do it. These are only 20 seconds, we're barely even making it up to a minute, all right? Let's go. Remember, your butt is down, your line, your back is in line, and break. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's okay. Do whatever you're doing. Up. This is the end of my week. I will post again in two days and switch at 6 a.m. per usual. And will I put, if there's any of you guys who are like, hey, I weirdly work out at 4 30 in the morning, can you post earlier? Let me know. I totally will adjust my schedule to fit you and switch. So this month is pretty consistent. I will do different things throughout the months to head, bring up your knees. Maybe some different formats, maybe some different days, everything will keep you on your toes, but definitely keep me as your workout series fitness coach. Let's grab one leg. Just know, I, my goal of this channel is to keep variety alive. I don't want to ever get still and stuck. So that is my goal because I know often if you get still and stuck, you get bored. Of course, we do the same workout so we can build on those foundations, but I will change up the system, the way we do it, the formats, etc. So anyways, congratulations. I will see you again on Monday at 6 a.m. I hope you enjoyed this week and look forward to next week for Monday. We're definitely going to do some Pilates abs, different yoga abs, different things, different things. So I'm excited. I'll see you then. Have a great day.